Panda here and a happy new year. But in all seriousness though, I really do hope it's a good year. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. So I thought about the year and I thought, have I done any art challenges? Some I forgot because I had no idea that the month had already passed until it was too late. So if like me, you wanted to do a monthly art challenge, besides October and November, this is the video for you. So here is all the months and all the challenges that's within them. The first month is January. Either create 31 animations or create 31 creatures. Either way, I do think the creatures one could be kind of cute because you can have like deer with flowers in her hand, hair, or you can have like lines or crystals on the backs. Either way, you can go free for all for the creature one. And you can even do dragons. February. Uh, draw the fear, what it says on the tin, really. Just draw fairies, and if your fandom happens to have fairies in it, even better. March. Um, for this one, some of it's like not as official, some of it's what I made up. Well, book dear. Draw a comic illustration sketch of a page from a story, either it could be a novel or your own original story or an eel free fanfic, any type of story that has written text on one side with the art on the other. This could be, like this was inspired by Neskin when he actually recreated the Harry Potter stories into a comic and I thought that was neat. And then you see like anime novels where one side has like the written story and the other side has like illustrations of the artwork itself, so it's not quite a manga but it's an adaption of both. And I thought, well, Book Day would be like great, just like look at the stories you have and just to share it with the world to see here, here's a story I was reading that was actually really good, be it fan fiction or be it like an actual novel, and see here, I like this, you guys might like it too. Like, just express your art and the story as well. Or it could be Magical March, where you make magical girls, either from your OCs, you make your own magical girls, or you just draw a fan art of magical girls. Either way, you can pretty much do whatever the heck you want in March. There's like lots of options here. April, like as in April showers. You could either draw an illustration to do with like rain showers or water or any type of that stuff. Draw tons of art like depicting rain. And yeah, that's pretty much what I have for this one. Mia, this one's pretty much uh, obvious. Everyone knows what Mia is for. Mia is for mermaid. You could draw mermaids, make mermaid or seas, draw mermaids that already exist or create like your characters as a mermaid. It goes on, there's lots to do with mermaid. Okay, June. Um, where I'm from in the UK, June is actually the month where you celebrate LGBT. So I was very confused where in June I bought a bunch of holiday clothes. Uh, that was all like LGBT, I had rainbows, all of that on it, etc. Then I went in Florida in October and I wore all these clothes because they were all summery shorts and everything. And I was like, oh yeah, I could just wear this like during this time. It's not going to mean anything to realise that in Florida, October was also Pride Month. So that was fantastic timing and I felt like as a fellow gear myself I kind of had a sixth sense on you. It's like my fellowship gays need me, I need to wear the rainbow. It's, it's kind of funny when I think about it. Because of that I'm not quite sure if like October is the official LGBT or June's official or if June and October is both and you could do whatever but our prompt wise I thought LGBT is in June here and that will be a great time to draw characters like with the LGBT flags, like in fandom or anything, your own OCs as that, or create OCs based on the LGBT flags, or make your own unique characters based from them. Either way, there's like a lot to unpack. You can actually like celebrate your own sexuality. In LGBT, I pretty much always like gravitate towards the ace sexual flag, because like that's what I am, and I feel like there's not much stuff out there depicting asexuals and like lots of people always do lots of like flags for them so I'm thinking okay you guys are doing yours um ears I'm doing mine but I still celebrate all of them as a whole so it's like as more as we get everything out there then it should be fine July sketchbook dear challenge I'm not quite sure about this one and what it means it means like do you just fill like the sketchbook for a deer like that sounds like very um <laughs> one way for like burning yourself out or it's like sketch in your book for a day so it's like one day you sketch something next day you sketch something over day you sketch something I'm not quite sure about that one okay August dog deers draw dogs I'm not I'm not sure I'll do this one but other than dogs you can draw well like watermelons watermelons seem cuter and also I'm trying to get into watercolor so you know using watercolor and watermelons actually sounds like a really fun idea to do September, the real MVP. September is actually sketch timber, so that one's actually the one where you sketch something either digital or traditional and do a sketch drawn every single day, like of the month. So that's why I don't really get like July because like that one is basically the same prompt twice, it's just doing sketches. So yeah, not quite... <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 whatever. But the thing is, what's great about Sketch Timber is that because it's all about sketching, is that you can literally do a bunch of like intricate sketches, very detailed, and then when Inktober comes, you can literally just get all those sketches and just ink them. 
So that way it's already a month where you're preparing for it. Okay, November, which is Huevember, where you create characters or illustrations based on one colour and one colour only, and complete the rainbow within the month. Some prompts for it, uh, some Huevember challenges have prompts just in case you don't know what to draw, so they have things there, like, in case. In the UK, it's also children in need, so you can draw Pudsy Bear and make some cute teddy bear art and donate to charity or do commissions, just in case as well. And Pudsy himself is yellow, so that's like a good way to start it off. Last but not least, December. Uh, there's nothing better than getting in the holiday spirit. You can draw anything that could be festive, like Michael Bublius sitting in Santa's lap, or Adina Menzel riding a reindeer like a badass, or any Christmas films you like, or Santa Claus, reindeer, elves, anything. As long as it feels festive, to do with like the snow, the lights, anything to do with December and how it feels as a month itself and like trying to like see what it symbolises. Okay, so that's basically all the months within the year and all the art challenges each month represents and which one you guys can pick because some of you can do the art prompts or uh, some of you can just draw whatever the heck you want during that month. It's not really set in stone. But in case some of the prompts here and not your cup of tea, I have some other additional ones just in case. And also it is kind of impossible to do all the months within the year because that is just asking for burnout. I'm just saying to pick a few of the year in case anyone wants to be ambitious and wants to know all the monthly prompts in advance and use it as like an art challenge, whatever they want. So here are some optional ones in case these months prompts are not your cup of tea. Free market challenge, toon me, another one is six character challenge, uh, clothes challenge, you could draw your OC in certain outfits, is the dress gold and white or is it black and blue, strawberry dress, virgin killer outfit, anything, draw your character in any type of outfit meme, redraw your old art, realism versus cartoon or 100 head challenge. I think what's great about the most though is that not all of them are actually official art prompts or like predetermined, some of them are official like Inktober or Mermaid because everyone knows what that is. But when you ask for what is the January, September, or even December prompts, they're a bit um, up to interpretation. There's no official like thing for it. Like people do Tumblr prompts online, but it's, it changes every time. It's nothing set in stone. But I think the reason why they're still blank is because just like in Tobit, anyone can create a prompt and if lots of people love it, they can create a community just from everyone pitching together to creating something as a community and making one simple word for a month become something important and making it become a challenge for everyone to enjoy. So I think it's a good thing that majority of these months are a bit like, um, unsure of and don't really have an official date yet because there's someone out there who hasn't made a prompt yet who's going to decide you know what December has got to be um the year where we just I don't know draw people in cute outfits and then that's it boom December is now cute outfits prompt week month or whatever so I think that's great about community where you just like decide what you want to do and like everyone as a whole just jumps on the bandwagon and makes it something official honestly I was actually thinking of doing like the whole year art challenge back in 2018. The fact that it's 2020 I haven't done it yet just shows that I have never got around to the time of like doing it myself, things came up so this year I'm not really saying I'm doing it, I'm just saying it's on the back burner for now as like some sort of like nuzlocke challenge for myself. It's like a art, uh, hardcore daredevil type feature that I might not be ready for currently but I might one day do it in the future but until then um, it's right here in the video in case anybody else wants to do it as well and like feels like doing a whole year full of prompts But if you guys think it'll cause burnout then you don't really have to do it It's just a whole here. This is what the prompts are in case anybody needs them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next one. Happy New Year!